Tell somebody who was able to deal with, you know, uh, on-air uh, faux pas and bloopers uh, all his career from news to so uh, his successful show. Jerry Springer, of course, we continue to remember yeah. uh, this Cincinnati legend, the life of Jerry Springer. We wanted to share, uh, this is an interview that Trisha did with Jerry wow. almost 10 years ago. That, yeah, 2014, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, so, uh, so this is another side to Jerry Springer from 2014 that you may have never seen before. Back fondly of those days that you were in town anchoring the news. I loved it. I, you know, I'm not just telling you that. Those were ten of the happiest years of my life. Yeah. I mean, the best job I ever had was being mayor. That really was the best job. But I loved anchoring the news. Um, you know, it was it was a great team there, and uh, you're right in the heart of whatever's going on in the city. Uh, I love that job, and I love writing commentaries every night. I, I really do miss that. That was a great job. Don't you think the commentaries, though, really like that was you? I mean, that set you apart from everybody else. And that was your, I mean, that was, in my opinion, it was your catapult. Well, it was different. Uh, and really, credit to the, the people that ran the station, because it was a gamble that they took. I mean, think about it. I had just finished being mayor. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I was a partisan mm -hmm. and uh, probably much more liberal. And they said, I wanted to do commentary, but they wanted me to anchor. And so that was the trade-off. Did you write them all? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that was the deal that no one was allowed to see it ahead of time. So there wouldn't even be a temptation. And that was in the contract. And uh, Walter Bartlett, who uh, was the general manager, uh, uh, you know, who, the CEO of, of Multimedia at the time, uh, he put that in the contract. That there were some tough commentaries, because there were times, I'll give you uh, an example, um, I had done a commentary where I had a criticism at the time of Mar Chot, um, who was the, you know, the owner of the Reds, and I thought something she did was wrong, and we were televising the Reds games, so you can imagine the pressure, I mean, I was hurting a major, I was saying something negative, which I believed to be true, but I was saying something negative about someone who was basically paying a lot, you know, $20 million a year to the station or whatever it was at the time. So you don't take yourself too seriously? No, because I have a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good Lord, why would I be, take myself seriously? This is pathetic. Do you get a hard time about the show? No, not anymore. No, it's, everybody's used to it. Yeah, it is what it is. Part of the pop culture. Right, right. Yeah. Do you separate that? I mean, what about your family? What do they say? Oh, yeah, well, you know, my wife, she, she thinks I sell insurance. I never told her I'm Jerry Springer. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you crazy? <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, well, sure. I mean, I'm, it's like you do the news, okay? Now, when you do a news, let's say about a murder or about a rape or something that's horrible, nobody suggests that you're endorsing it because you put it on the air. That's your job. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm hired to host a show about dysfunctional, inappropriate behavior. That's in the contract. I love what I do. You know, I, I'm so lucky. I mean, you know, I have no talent, and I managed to make a business in show business, you know, a, a career in show business. Who would have thunk that? And so I realize I'm lucky, and I love it, but I never take it seriously because, you know, there's no one watching this show, the, your program right now, that couldn't do what I do. Uh, there's no p particular skill to it. What do I do? I, uh, this is what I do, okay? I go, you did what? Come on out. We'll be right back. <laughs> if you can do that, you're a talk show host. <laughs> Come on. There's nothing. It's as simple as that. That was good, though. Oh, I do it great. Well, what are you outside of all of the everything? You know? I'm a woman. <laughs> I used to be a woman. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's what I am. I, you know, I, yeah. I, uh, in fact, I used to be Norma Rashid. I, Who are you? The crack up? The? Uh, I think I'm my, uh, immodestly, a really good father and, you know, and, uh, and a grandfather now. Yeah, we have a little boy, uh, a, a grandson, Richard. He's four years old. Katie had a boy and um, he's just the center, you know, center of our life. And uh, what are you? Grandpa, Papa, what? Opa. Opa. Okay, how do you come up with Opa? Uh, well, that's what we call my dad. It's a German, um, it's German for grandfather Opa. Yeah, yeah. What do you make an episode? I know I could look it up, but tell me. Oh, give me an idea. You mean how much money? Yeah. Oh, no, I volunteer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're no, good. I don't. Yeah, you're I, a good man. I just volunteer. <laughs> I do it. I heard it was like thirteen million dollars a year. What do you need a loan? Yeah, I do actually. No, it's not that. It's not that. Do you think that maybe you got into politics at the wrong time? Maybe you were born the wrong era. Because if you were if, if you were just coming in to be the mayor now, would you have different aspirations? No, I always knew that. President Springer? I was born in England, so I can't be president. In fact, I left England when I found out I couldn't be king. I was ticked off. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I left when I was That's five. It. Yeah, no, I was born in London. Actually, I was born on a, in a train station. No, that's true. That's not a joke. Because uh, I was born in the born? Highgate Station in London uh, because I was born during the war, World War II, and the train stations were the bomb shelters. So when Hitler was bombing, women in their ninth month would spend the nights in the train stations because that was the shelter. And I was born at 1145 at night. Anything else you want to add? If you've got a couple of bucks, if you could just send it in, you know? I have expenses. You think it's easy?